What is going on guys? Blazing here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you are having a wonderful day and thank you for joining me on another raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, today we are talking about hard mode ice golem. Uh, we're talking stage nine. We're talking soloing. We're talking max efficiency, right? We want to make sure that for every energy we're putting in there, we are getting the most we can for reward, right? Um, and why are we talking ice golem? Well, we got retaliation sets, right? We have curse sets, right? We have provoke sets. We actually need those. We have reflex sets. So if you're trying to do an infinity comp team, three out of those four sets are a must. Actually, almost all four of those are going to be a must for you, right? So it makes sense to actually go for this dungeon now. Um, it, it used to be from going one of the worst dungeons that nobody wanted to do to now you're dragging yourself to do it because you know it just you have to you have to if you want to be able to compete in the hydro clash so, all right so we have stage nine hard mode now you could use any sort of other aura or anything else like that but if you follow this build you should be fine right um i've done 150 runs and i've only had one fail and that was when i got three percented on the boss and i got the uh decreased healing on me right and so i just right at the end i was too low and i died um, so the 3% is real. It happens. It is what it is. Now, uh, the first wave goes pr through pretty quickly, right? Uh, we'll probably get it down in about 30 seconds. Uh, some people might say, why aren't you taking Soul Reap instead of Brimstone? Well, here's the thing. Soul Reap is great to take down the adds, right? But survivability wise, we're gaining only a thousand HP, some crit damage and a couple of hundred attack, which is nothing that we need, right? The only thing out of that that will be helpful for us is the, uh, 1000 HP, but with Brimstone, we're gaining accuracy. When we get to a six star, we'll gain more speed. And we're gaining about 6,000 HP, which if you're trying to solo content, it is helpful, right? Does it take a little longer? Of course it does. But what would you rather take? Would you be more, you know, making sure that your run is consistent and 100% or would you want to, you know, take the soul reap and say, well, if it doesn't pan out, it is what it is. So for me, I prefer to go with the 100% consistency uh, making him as tanky as possible and you know it is what it is it doesn't matter he is aoe on everything so it might not always be well for us especially in hydra but we are at a minute 30 right now the ads on the second wave are almost done right it is going to take us a little longer because of the tutorials placing the block debuffs uh and the increased defense plus the veil you know <laughs> they're just being tanky uh being stubborn being difficult but that's perfectly fine for us we have no problem we're willing to wait it out right now uh, when we get to the boss, it's actually going to be quite a fast run for us, right? Let's go here. All right, we're at two minutes, two seconds at the boss, uh, and it's actually pretty consistent at the same time. Now, the boss, I'm going to say, is probably going to take about 35 to 40 seconds, which is pretty fast for a solo farmer. Uh, 17 seconds, we're about 60% through, or at 60 to second, 50% at 22 seconds. Brimstone proc right there, which is awesome. Um, almost, let's see. 32 seconds, 34, yep, 40 seconds, pretty solid, right? 38 seconds to take down the boss, pretty, pretty solid. Um, so let me show you guys the build. All right, so um, what did we do? Since the last time we had our Artac built, we actually had him in a regen and perception set, right? Trying to get the accuracy up as high as possible. Uh, we've gotten some upgrades from Friday night since then. And so now we have them in a speed and regeneration set. The accessories that you want to really use are the counterattack accessories. And if you can put him in a single piece of blood shield and he should be able to, if you have the same build, actually solo the scarab boss, right? Uh, if you guys want, I can do a video showing that as well. Um, but for builds wise, we have him at 80K HP, 3.4K defense. The defense, you want to hit at least 3.2 HP. 80 is about the lowest, I would suggest, going. 261 speed, the faster, the better, right? With some of the key matches that we can get, we'll hit almost at 300 speed. Uh, 323 resistance with his passive. We hit well over 400. We're fine. We have no problem. Uh, 413 accuracy is solid. 450 would be better. Um, as for books wise, if you're going into hard mode dungeons, you want him booked, right? Uh, if you're going to have him solo content, you want him booked. Can he do it without books? Uh, lower stages, yes. Higher stages, no. Uh, Brimstone, again, is the blessing of choice, right? We gain 6,000 HP and one, uh, and we gain 50 accuracy as opposed to the crit damage that we're going to get, the HP, along with the uh, 500 attack. 
other than that, the 14% threshold to one-shot somebody, I don't really care for, right? Um, masteries wise. Now here you could do one of two things. Uh, the support tree is what you want to take for the main one. But if you have a problem trying to hit some of the speeds, you forego the defense tree and you come down to the offense and take whirlwind of death, right? But as for the support tree, you do want to take oppressor. You want to take spirit haste. You want to take master hexer. You want to take Lord of steel, cycle of magic. And then the most important one to actually take is arcane celerity, right? We're placing so many HP burns that we want to try to get as much turn meter back as possible, right? That is big, key. I mean, five adds, you're placing decrease attack, you're placing HP burn. It's pretty big, right? It's very significant. So hopefully this helped you guys. Let me know, are you still using your art tag? Where are you using them? How do you have them built? Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying him and I'm hoping to get a couple more copies so I can plus four him and see what else I can do with him. Um, as always, guys, much love, much appreciation. Be safe, be well, be good to each other. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.